There was always that ramped up energy every time uh, Ohio and Penn State was on the ice. Freshman year, that's when we really got introduced to the Penn State rivalry. You need a great rival to be a good team or a great team, and, and I think over the years, Penn State and Ohio have brought the best out of both programs. Rivalry can be seen in all of sports. In the world of collegiate club hockey, perhaps no two rivals make up their league's identity, like the Ohio Bobcats and Icers of Penn State. Penn State and Ohio University were also had a number of people that were heavily involved in the whole creation of this ACHA. And so at the same time we had this competitive rivalry, we relied on each other to really sort of push the whole ACHA and just to really where it is where it is today. Since the ACHA's inception in 1991, the two programs have been mainstays near the top of the national rankings. Four times the two have met for the ultimate prize each team coming away with two titles. And for a 10 year span, the two won a combined nine championships. And you also have a no number of other really good programs that have developed over the years as well. I think that most would say that, you know, you go back to Ohio, you go back to Penn State, is, is that at some point, you're probably gonna have to beat one of those teams if you're going to win. In that time, faces have come and gone, while some have remained constant from 95 to 2004, those 10 years, it was either Ohio or Penn State. So I think that they were the two class uh, above and beyond, head and shoulders above everybody else. But as they say, all good things must end. Penn State is in its final year as an ACHA Division I club. Next year, the program makes the jump to the NCAA Division I level. This weekend marks the final regular season meeting between the two. For the men that now don the green and white, they'll put their unbeaten home record on the line against the nation's number one team. You know, last time I didn't get to watch, or I had to watch because I was hurt. So, you know, it's going to be really important to get to play against them for the one last time. But in the grand scheme, these two familiar foes step on the ice this weekend and pay a 120 minute homage to the game they love and two decades of memories. It's Ohio and Penn State in Athens one last time. It'll be a rivalry that I don't think you can replace.